The central question facing the Supreme Court in this case was whether or not it was legal for the United States government to force individuals to purchase a service. The case originated after the federal government passed the Affordable Care Act, requiring nearly all U.S. citizens to purchase health insurance or face a fine. There were actually several lawsuits against the act, but they were combined under this case. The parties against the ACA had a number of reasons why the law was unconstitutional in their eyes. However, the basic premise was that the government could not force people to purchase something. They argued that it was different than issues like car insurance because in those cases, individuals could simply avoid the, purpose, the purchase by not using a car. The lawyers in favor of the ACA argued that people could be forced to purchase goods and services. In addition, they argued that the penalty was not a fine, but that it was instead a tax, something that the government is allowed to levy. This is a very simplified version of the case, but these are the basics of what was at stake. Now you get to decide. Do you think it is constitutional for the government to require individuals purchase a good or a service against their will.